just up at Rain Hill now. This is some of the last barley that we drilled. No, it actually wasn't. It was some of the second to last barley that we drilled. Anyway, it looks pretty decent. Nice little green rows, all looking like soldiers. No grass weeds, which is nice. He so actually says there's a little bit there. <laughs> Hopefully the barley will swamp it out. It's one of them, isn't it? You, you've got to like leave it late enough that you've killed any of the different grass weeds before you drill. But then the same thing is if the weather deteriorates like it has done now, you, you've got to get on and get it in. But no, it looks stunning to be fair. You see where the, this is the headland coming in and out there. And then that's where we start going in the opposite direction. So you've got a little bit of hatch in here where the drill overlaps. So it's in like diamonds or squares. And then that's it is off up the field there. Anyway, there's some wheat next to it there after rape. We'll go and have a quick look at that as well. This is the wheat, the other side of the hedge coming through the rape stubble. Little bit burr. Well, looks worse on the camera, actually. Little bit burr in this gateway here where there's been like a pile of soil and stuff. It's soil, not soil. Pile of rape straw. This is where we're putting a header on as well. Probably slugs have had it just under there. The rest of it, though, it's hard to see because of the, the stubble. Your eye sees the stubble, but it's all there in rows. If you look down through between it all. Just see it. I think we have had a little bit of slug pressure up here, actually. You see a slug pellet there that we put on the other day. It is growing through the moss killing the weeds which is good suppressing the grass weeds doesn't look so bad see the stubble still stuck up about 18 inches high and the wheat's below it you see a bit of striping actually on this one here where the slugs have been eating it so it's chewed yeah i was watching someone on youtube yesterday i think it was in farm flicks so they've been to i think north dakota or something looking around farms and when they do the last cut of silage they leave little strips in the field so the grass is still stood up and that's to stop the snow well to hold the snow in a drift so that when it melts it gives the moisture to the ground we don't have this problem up here we had too much moisture to get rid of but sowing into an oilseed rape stubble would have the same effect wouldn't it It'd hold the snow back if you needed to few people were interested in this field this is these are little strips this is the barley sown straight into the grass that we sprayed off. So when we sowed this, the grass still looked like that. It was still green. Anyway, the glyphosate's killed the grass and the barley's just coming up nicely now. In a few months, you won't see that grass. It'll have died off completely and the, the barley will come up. And this is the line where it was a wheat stubble last year. But yeah, looks pretty good. On the fast track now, going backwards. Just going to go up to where they've been digging spuds because they're leaving the field now with the spud harvest down because it's got tracks, it'll make a mess of the road. So Sam's going with a bucket brush, then I'm going in this to, to warn the traffic and slow them down because it's on a blind bend. So we don't want them flying around into sand brushing really slowly. To be honest, the road isn't so bad considering how much traffic's come out of it. Anyway, Sam's just bushing it now with a bucket brush and then when he goes to the other side of the road, I'll go round the bend and park there to warn the traffic coming round. You'll see now where he's done. It's, done like a, it's all clean now in front of him. Just in a field after rape now, you can obviously see this is, this is the rape residue here now. Bit of striping off the slugs but it's all growing up through the straw. But then if we come this way slightly, I mean, you can see the nice rows, there's a tram line there. It looks superb. And then as we get over this bit here, this is the point where I come to check on the drill and it obviously wasn't set right. This, the pressure had been knocked off by mistake. So you can obviously see the difference in establishment. So when it dries, we're gonna to have to come on this and stitch more in. Now, it's all had the same seed, but it's either been eaten by slugs or pigeons because it wasn't buried properly. 
we did try disking over the top of it to try and bury it but of course then we created it quite loose on the top so it meant that the slugs could move through the soil or the pigeons could scrap down and find it the crows so it's just incredibly patchy so it's like from there right across to there and some of the headlands and this is obviously like a matter straw where nothing has grown through it whatsoever so we have got some them things we we think we've worked out what's happened there's a button on the drill that you press if you're going to get stuck and it dumps the pressure off the cultures we think we it, well whoever was driving the drill had pressed it by mistake dropped the pressure off and then we hadn't realized this then so that meant that it wasn't penetrating the ground properly and on here there was quite a, a thatcher residue so it wasn't getting through it and it was just leaving it on the top this actually was the last field that we drilled with barley. Anyway, it's all come up pretty good. This was potatoes a couple of years ago, so judging by how much water's lay on it after it's rained, I think it is slowly starting to recover now, which is good. And there looks to be a good establishment on here as well. So I'm quite pleased with that, really. If we go over here, just when we get off the headland, we'll see the roads a bit better, hopefully. Oh, it's a bit windy though, is it? great such a versatile drill though it can obviously go into a pre-prepared seabed or straight into a stubble as long as it's set up correctly that is they've moved fields now what we're going to do is we're going to start dropping the trailers on the edge of the track so that the tractors just have to back in off the road and get them and then one tractor will just stay in the field and run along the harvester because it's so wet to stop them putting mud on the road i know sam's going around following with the brush but still, if they were bringing a trailer out every sort of two trailers an acre in a, I don't know what, a 20 acre field, there'd be some mud on the road, so I'm just going to try and keep it to a minimum. It's amazing that the harvesters work it, you look at my boots, how sticky it is. The harvesters just sweeping it up. It's got his beakers on so everyone knows where he is in the field. Valtra. I actually think that harvester can walk on water when you look how little mess it makes going up the field when you look at the headlands. Bucket brush, there's an oil seal gone in there, so Sam's just jet washed it, just going to strip it down. Hopefully get a new seal off the shelf and then um, get it going again. Keep the roads clean. Andrew's just been emptying one tank into another tank because 
not that diesel's going up in particular. I'm sorry, not that I'm bothered about the shortage of diesel, but what I am bothered about is the price is rising very quickly. So we just want to make sure that we've got as much on stock as possible so that we're not paying stupid price in a few weeks for it. Got me an FU shirt on. We are doing a live lesson, a live harvest lesson with kids in an assembly. So now the kids are watching a film that we filmed in the summer of us combat uh, in the grain store, but we're pretending it's live, so I've got the same shirt on. Answering that poll for your class, you might have to have a poll in, within your class first to decide what your class's answer is going to be. Big debate, but we'll move on from that debate now. Josh has just asked, should pineapples be on a pizza? And the kids are doing a vote, so there's 33,000 watching at the moment. So anyway, what do you think, viewers? Do you think pineapples should be on a pizza or not? Answer below. Back in my work clothes now, going back outside. So that was a live lesson, So we, but it wasn't really, because some of it we filmed a few weeks ago, because they couldn't be in different places at once. Anyway, I'm going to try and put a link below so you can watch the whole thing. But basically, the kids saw where wheat came from, where milk came from, where cheese came from, where tomatoes came from, and made a pizza. And there were some questions, and backwards and forwards so I was answering them via zoom satellite link thing so anyway that was that back outside get something done and then I've got an NFU meeting again tonight the guy from class that was coming yesterday I'd got it wrong he was coming today so we're going to do a bit of an interview about how the combine went this season for the class magazine and then you'll be able to read it if you get the class magazine cracking service from Merlot and Pews. that pin obviously snapped yesterday last thing about four or five o'clock they had the part this morning and fitted it and it was up and running before nine. Brilliant. Some round the corner, we've got a yard full of spud bulkers because we're waiting here now rather than on the road so that they're not causing any chaos. Look how trick this is on this Ford Cougar. And he's got on the ramp. That pops out to stop you protect your door. How clever is that? Contact reps just been give me a new hat. It's also Rodney Lee's birthday, it's happy birthday. And also, <laughs> he's got four sons, so two of them are taking the mickey there. Anyway, that's all for today. If you want to watch another video, it's there. If you want to subscribe, it's over here. Thanks for everyone that's watching. I've got to go in an NFU meeting now in the evening, so I'll see you later. One last thing, the link below, if you want to watch the live lesson or your kids do, you should be able to click below here and see it. And also, if you've got this far, please click like. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.